The song's simple melody and peaceful lyrics also reminds us of a universal sense of peace that transcends the holiday. Perhaps at no other time in the song's history was the message more important than during the First World War. Just over a century ago, while World War I was raging in Europe, young men were being slaughtered by the hundreds of thousands. But somehow, on Christmas Eve, the guns briefly fell silent. If there's one tradition that brings us closer together and fills our hearts with hope during the Christmas season, it's not cheesy Hallmark movies, but our beautiful Christmas hymns. From such humble origins, these melodies have developed to a level that our artists, musicians, and composers would find just simply unbelievable. Much like Hark the Herald Angels Sing, our next hymn has topped the Christmas hymn charts for over two centuries. Silent Night is one of the most beloved hymns of all time, and one that pretty much defines the true meaning of Christmas. The song, which features a lullaby-like melody in a simple message of peace, seems potent today as it likely did in a small Salzburg church two centuries ago. Gathered together for a Christmas Mass in 1818, a small Austrian congregation of St. Nicholas Church listened to Silent Night for the very first time. Originally written in German in 1816, a young priest named Father Joseph Moore had written the lyrics as a six-stanza poem while working at a pilgrimage church in Marifar, Austria. He called the poem Stille Nacht Heilige Nacht, or Silent Night, Holy Night. Two years later, Moore wanted it set to music so it could be performed for an audience that Christmas. The day before Christmas in 1818, Moore traveled to the nearby village of Arnsdorf, Austria, to ask teacher and organist Franz Gruber if he could compose music to accompany the lyrics. He told Gruber he wanted to perform it that night for the Christmas Eve Mass. Gruber got to work, and the music was written for the song in just a few hours that same day. What made this song so different was that in Germany in the 1800s, hymns and songs were regularly played on church organs. Silent Night, however, was composed for just two voices and a single acoustic guitar. There are many different myths about why it was limited to just voice and guitar, but one of the most popular rumors was that a hungry mouse damaged the organ so badly that it rendered the church organ useless that Christmas season. While some believe this to be untrue, it sure makes for a fun story. Over the next two decades, the song's popularity spread all throughout Europe. Karl Muracher, an organ builder who serviced the St. Nicholas Church, loved the Christmas carols so much that he made a copy of the sheet music and took it home with him to Zillertal, Austria. In Zillertal, two families of popular folk singers, the Strassers and the Rainers, began including the hymn in their performances. The musical family traveled throughout Europe, eventually performing for royal audiences, including performances for the Emperor of Austria, Franz I, and another for the Tsar of Russia, Alexander I. The same family was also the first to take it across the Atlantic and perform the carol in the United States, New York City, in 1839. From there, its popularity grew even more. Silent Night became a sensation around the world. Its significance made UNESCO declare it a part of the world's intangible cultural heritage and has been translated into roughly 140 different languages. But perhaps the most influential translation of the song was into English in 1859. John Freeman Young, an Episcopal priest in New York City, wrote and published the English translation of Silent Night. While much of the translation stayed very close to the original, the first six verses of Gruber's carol were changed substantially. In the English version, we're familiar with the lyrics, Silent night, holy night. All is calm, all is bright. Round young virgin, mother and child. Holy infant, so tender and mild. Sleep in heavenly peace. The direct German translation would be, Silent night, holy night. Everything is sleeping. Lonely wakes only the faithful sacrosanct couple. Gentle boy in curly hair, sleep in heavenly peace. The English translation by the Episcopalian priest focused on the virgin mother and the child in a different way than the original. The lyrics of Silent Night have always carried an important message for Christmas Eve observance around the world. But the song's simple melody and peaceful lyrics also reminds us of a universal sense of peace that transcends the holiday. 
Perhaps at no other time in the song's history was the message more important than during the First World War. Just over a century ago, while World War I was raging in Europe, young men were being slaughtered by the hundreds of thousands. But somehow, on Christmas Eve, the guns briefly fell silent. One account from a German officer said, on Christmas Eve at noon, fire ceased completely on both fronts. A British soldier said, we heard a German singing, in German, naturally. The Germans placed candles on their trenches and on Christmas trees, then continued the celebration by singing Christmas carols, particularly Silent Night, a tune the British knew and responded by singing the carol in their own language. The two sides continued by shouting Christmas greetings to each other. Soon after, there were excursions across no man's land, where small gifts were exchanged, like food, tobacco, and souvenirs. The song's fundamental message of peace in the midst of sufferings bridged even the ravages of World War I. Today, Silent Night still tops the charts of Christmas records and sales every year. Silent Night offers comfort and solace to anyone in need of peace. The song speaks of hope and beauty that arises out of pain.